In this session, let us start the next module that is molding. Now I am going to file new and if you select here the type as manufacturing then the subtype we are going to have the mold cavity and using this mold cavity we can prepare the solid cavities which are required for the molding process and this comes under the manufacturing that is the reason we are selecting the type as manufacturing and here also we are going to use the same terms like patterns runners risers sub runners sprues so all these things are going to remain same even here also when we are preparing these solid mold cavities first let us see about a split cavity i'm going to create here one cavity which i'm going to split it into two parts that is top half and bottom half like cope and drag now i'm giving the name of this file as split cavity then go with ok now this is the main window of the molding and here you can see we have mold front mold right and you can see this is the main parting plane and this is nothing but the mold cavity toolbar and even here we are going to have a menu manager and now we will learn about the mold cavities preparation with the help of the menu manager and here whenever you want to prepare the mold cavities first we need a reference model and the reference model is just like a pattern how we are going to use the pattern in case of actual foundry process even here also we have to take one pattern which is called a reference model then after placing the reference model next we have to place one workpiece and by taking the help of that reference model as a reference we are going to convert this workpiece into the actual cavities now first we'll see a reference model creation and how to place that reference model and how to create the workpiece with the help of the mold model when so the menu manager the first step we have to follow is mold model now before going to mold model first i'm going to prepare here one reference model with the help of part module so let me take a new file i'm taking here part solid and let me specify here the name as reference reference model first for the name as reference model and let me take here one model i'm taking a simple model with the help of revolve so this is the model revolve this and wherever you have the sharp corners there you can provide the fillets i am going fillet then one more fillet i am taking here again i am going to round tool let me provide on the top let us take this is the model which i want to prepare the resultant is nothing but here the pattern so i am taking one pattern this is the pattern then save it now let us take this pattern into the manufacturing so i can close this file now again you can see here we are in molding so let me go to menu manager then i am going to mold model then first step is you have to go to assemble so go to assemble then say reference model and select that reference model which you have created and then you can go with open now again here we have to assemble it and because this is the only component we have to assemble so directly you can go with default so go to default and accept it and now here you can specify the name and let me specify the name as pattern specify the name and go with ok and now you can see that pattern is going to be added as the first one then after placing this reference model next we have to prepare the workpiece and to prepare the workpiece you can go with create you can go with create and select here workpiece then either you can create the workpiece automatically or even you can prepare it by going with manual automatic means you can get the predefined shapes if you go with manual you can create any shape according to our requirement 
Now let us see about manual. I am going with manual. Then here I am going to give the name of that particular part as workpiece. I am giving the name as workpiece. Give the name as workpiece. Then go with OK. Then here I am going to create features and accept it. The next I am going to solids. Protrusion. And here I am going to prepare using extrude. So I can select extrude. Solid and then go to done. Then I am going to placement, define. Let me select here the mold front plane and the sketching plane. And main parting plane I am selecting as the reference. And that one I am taking the orientation as top. Then go to sketch. Now here I am taking one rectangle. And see that the complete reference model is inside this rectangle. Then accept it. And even when you extrude, you have to see that the reference model should be completely inside the workpiece. Let me take here both sides and begin symmetry and drag it. Now from all the sides, if you see the total reference model is inside the workpiece, now you can accept it. Accept it, then go with done. So this is how we are going to have here the workpiece. Now again you can go with done. So with this, we have completed the first step called mold model and after completing the mold model then the second step will be shrinkage now you can provide some shrinkage ratio some shrinkage factor to this particular reference model as we know after solidification the component is going to shrink a little bit so that is the reason we are going to take the pattern size to be a little bit greater so you can go with shrinkage the shrinkage can be provided either by going to bi dimensions or by scaling. If you go to bi dimensions, then you can provide a different shrinkage factor for different different dimensions. Or if you go to bi scaling, then you can provide the shrinkage factor to the overall model that is called bi scaling. Now let me go to bi dimensions. Then I am specifying here the ratio for all the dimensions and let me take the ratio as 0.1 then accept it so with this the shrinkage is completed and now we can go to done so the second step is completed then the third step will be creation of a parting surface so here we have to create one parting surface which is going to divide the workpiece into the required number of cavities and to prepare the parting surface, now we can go with parting surface from this toolbar. So this is parting surface tool, you can select it. Then now I want to prepare that parting surface with the help of extrude. So let me go with extrude. And I am going to placement, define. I am selecting here the front surface. And let me select the top surface as reference. And I am going to create here one parting surface exactly at the middle exactly at the center I want to prepare here one parting surface so let me draw here one line at the center and see that this particular line should be completely out of the workpiece so this is the workpiece we have and I am taking the line outside the workpiece then accept it and now I want to extrude this one up to the back side surface up to this back side surface I want to extrude this so you can do one thing you can change the direction and you can go with up to your reference and you can select this back side surface so up to the back side surface a surface will be created and using this parting surface now I am going to divide the workpiece into two halves so after creating this parting surface now we can accept it so with this the parting surface is completed and after completing the parting surface the next step will be about the mold component mold component means here we are going to extract the mold components but before going to mold component we have to see about one more step which is called mold volume so after preparing the mold volumes only then we can extract the actual components by going with mold component and how to go with mold volume that we'll see in the next session